Hey guys, today's video I have some easy but high end looking Easter DIYs to share with you guys. Dollar Tree right now has these bell cloches, I think that's how you say it, cloches, um, in the gardening section right now. It's plastic and it's meant for like plants outside to kind of ventilate the air that you, um, that they can have. So on the top of it, it comes with this little plastic black piece. Like I said, it's used to ventilate the air that goes in and out of the, the little bell cloche. I'm gonna pop this off and I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a clear marble to the top because I want this piece to be a high-end looking decor piece for my home. And we always see these glass um, bell cloches in the stores for way, way more, especially for this size. So the fact that I can make this with Dollar Tree products is amazing. So I would have liked a bigger marble, but I wanted to use what was I had on hand and this is the size that I had. But you can also use some um, knobs as well for this project. Um, it doesn't have to be like a marble. So you could use whatever circular thing that you have at home. Now for me, you can use any place, but for me, I wanted this decorative cake tray because I love the way that this looks. It's in the um, party section and it looks like, you know, high end glass to me, even though it's plastic. Now you can paint this if you want to, and then also you could paint the marble to match it and it'll be really cute, but I want everything to look like glass and high end. So I left it as is. And then I added this Easter wreath that I got in the Target dollar spot last year for $2.50 because it was 50% off after the Easter holidays. And I'm going to add it to it to add some greenery and some eggs to it but you could just put greenery if you want but this wreath just had everything I needed and I didn't have to add anything else to it just the wreath I also took this bunny that I got from Hobby Lobby last year I also got this for 50% off during its sale and so I got it for two dollars and 49 cents but it's normally 4.99 but Dollar Tree does have these huge bunnies that are kind of styrofoam that can work as well if you want that. And then I just added the lid back onto it and I have this beautiful, huge, high-end looking bell cloche uh, decor in my home for Easter. And you can use this all year round. You can switch it out with the different decors that you have. You can take this out and just add greenery and whatever else you want to add to it. You can add a candle inside it. You can do whatever you want with this bell cloche. So it's not only for Easter, it can be used for multiple seasons and multiple holidays. Dollar Tree this year brought out these little mini buckets that you get two for the price of one and they come in so many different colors and you can use it for so many things for Easter time as is but I wanted to take it and make like kind of an Easter DIY with it because to me they look like cracked eggs. So the first thing that I did was I removed the handles from the buckets and the handles come off easy but I also wanted to cut off the piece that sticks out to hold the handles and that takes some maneuvering with your scissors but it can be done. You just have to go back and forth and then you'll be able to cut it off easily and then I wanted to spray paint it a matte white spray paint because I feel like that looks a little bit more modern and high end and this is how it turns out once you spray paint it and you can leave it as is you could just leave this how it is don't have to do the next step because it looks like a cracked white egg but I wanted to give it that look of those splotted spotted splotted spotted like speckled eggs that was a tongue twister so I took some black um, craft paint that I had on hand and then also a toothbrush and what I did was I dipped the toothbrush in the black paint and then with gloves on I ran my thumb over the toothbrush with the black paint and it just flicked different black paint on top of those you know buckets now the reason why I'm not doing this on camera is because the last time I did this on camera the paint went everywhere and it got on on my camera and on my lights and it's just a messy thing that you have to do outside so that's why I did it outside and I'm sorry I didn't record it for y'all but it's really easy to do um, you just like I said with gloves on run your fingers through the toothbrush after the paint is on and then you get these splatter paints as you can see on here and it you'll see that it's like different sizes so they look like the those speckled eggs that everybody is buying and like the home decor stores I've seen things like this where they have like different decor pieces that are the speckled eggs the eggs themselves are speckled so this is like the style now and this is how you can achieve it but again you need to do it outside because the paint will go everywhere and make sure you wear gloves so this little like bucket can be you know decorated on your shelf by itself it looks really high-end looking decor piece by itself it just looks like the cracked egg so really you don't have to add anything to it you could just put on a stack of books you could just put on your shelf next to some Easter decor and it'll be beautiful as is but for me you guys know I like to add a little touch of greenery so I added a hanging plant from Ikea in one of them which I think is so beautiful I love this Ikea plant it looks so high-end looking and so real and I love it and then with the other one I added some boxwood um, greenery 
from Walmart that was only 97 cents. And this just gives my shelf a beautiful look in my home office. I just love it. For the bunny that was on the shelf, what I did was I took one of these wood cutout bunnies and painted it to my liking and removed the string that came on it and I just sat it on the shelf. And because it was one of these sit down bunnies, it was easy to put on the shelf and it doesn't fall over. For that mini egg decor that I had on my shelf, what I did to make that was I took this wooden egg piece that they have at Dollar Tree in the Easter section and the first thing I did was I spray painted it a metallic rose gold. Then I took some painter's tape and I taped down a piece of the painter's tape at an angle and then what I did was I painted the top part of the wooden egg, the one, the piece that is above the tape white and then the piece that was below the tape I painted it a light gray. When you are removing the tape, take your time guys because sometimes if you go too fast, you can yank off some of the paint that you put on there and you won't have the crisp, nice lines to make it look like a beautiful modern decor. So just take your time with it. Now you can use this as a coaster if you want to. You can Mod Podge it and it'll make a great coaster. But like you guys saw, I liked it for you know a decor piece on my shelf. So to make this, um, to be able to stand on its own, I just took one of those Jingle Block tower, Tumbling Tower pieces they have in the toy section and I just took my hot glue gun and glued it to the back so that this piece will be able to stand on its own and it came out absolutely gorgeous I love it it looks very high-end and modern and glamorous and I know something like this would cost way more than a dollar 25 at a home decor store Dollar Tree also had the rabbit face wooden cutouts as well and I thought it would be cute to take one of these and one of the egg ones and make like fake looking sugar cookies. So to do this what you'll do is you'll just paint only the top part of these wooden pieces not the sides just the top part because the top part will look like frosting and then the side of the wood would look like the actual sugar cookies after they've been cooked. I painted the rabbit face white and as you can see once it's dry it looks like a sugar cookie with frosting on it. I decided to paint the egg one a light baby pink and as you can see I've already added some details to it. I thought my camera was rolling when I was adding details to it but it wasn't. But all I did was I took the back end of my paintbrush and I dipped it in some white paint and added some dots to it. Kind of make it look like sprinkles and so it looks like a little sugar cookie with some white sprinkles on it and this will be great in a coffee bar to decorate with it or you could decorate it just in your kitchen. For the rabbit face, I decided to draw a face on it and I tried my best guys, but you guys know that I have shaky hands and so mine doesn't look the best, but I think that's kind of, um, I think that's a kind of a good thing because whenever you're decorating cookies, they don't look perfect. So it kind of looks like natural cookies. And so, um, like I said, I did my best, but you could do whatever you want. Um, as far as decorating it, you don't have to add a face. And if you do have another idea, let me know in the comments down below, because I would like to see your ideas on what you would do for the rabbit face. But here's how it turned out. I think they're absolutely adorable. Again, like I said, it could be in a coffee bar area. It could be in your kitchen, kind of like in a cookie jar. However you want to decorate it, it, it can be like, you know, sugar cookie decor that can last all year round because you're not eating it and it's not going to spoil because it's not an actual cookie. I also took another one of the bunny cutouts and decorated it like this because I wanted to have like a little brown bunny so that when I used it as a coaster it would go great against my white tables so I just mod podge this and this will be good to go to be a coaster downstairs in my living room and that is it for today's video you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below which um, DIY was your favorite and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.